The following video is produced for our other channel, The History of Weapons. Please take some time to click the link below and subscribe. The Mosin Nagant, also referred to as the three-line rifle, is one of the most produced bolt rifles and one of the most produced guns on the planet with 37 million at least. And there's a lot of things you probably know about the Mosin Nagant, but what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at 10 things you probably didn't know about this awesome bolt rifle, the Mosin Nagant. Number one. During World War I, Russia, struggling to keep up with production of the Mosin Nagant, hired U.S. and British arms manufacturers, Remington and New England Westinghouse Company. 1.5 million Mosin Nagants were produced by Remington. However, once the Communist October Revolution began, all production of these rifles stopped, resulting in Russia receiving half a million of these rifles for free for not fulfilling the contracts. Number two, even after being traded out for rifles like the SKS and the AK-47, the Mosin Nagant continues to see use throughout conflicts throughout the entire 20th century and beyond through Vietnam, Korea, Afghanistan, and due to the massive stockpile of these rifles that were used by nearly every Soviet ally at one time or other, there are even reports of Mosin Nagants being used by pro-Russian separatists in the Ukraine invasion right now. Number three, the Mosin Nagant rifle was originally designed by Captain Sergei Ivanovich Mosin and was tested along with two other rifles, one of which was designed by Leon Nagant. After the Mosin rifle was selected, modifications to the rifle were made using specifications from Nagant's design. Nagant, of course not being okay with this without receiving any sort of compensation, filed lawsuit, resulting in a settlement in favor of Leon Nagant. This led to the development of the colloquial name, the Mosin Nagant, combining both names to give both men credit. Number four, Mosin also originally had an issue with the name of the rifle due to it breaking the tradition of naming the rifle after the constructor when it was officially named the three-line rifle in 1891. Mosin claimed that he was the creator of the rifle and that his work should be recognized, which additionally add to the naming the Mosin Nagant. Number five, the Mosin Nagant was even popular in the criminal world. Criminals would often saw off the barrel and replace the stock with a pistol grip for easy concealment. These rifles became known as Aubrey's Mosins, which comes from the Russian word for saw it off. Although highly inaccurate, the rifles were fairly effective at short distances, which was perfect for their intended use as a pistol. Number six. The Mosin rifle was extremely important in winning the Battle of Stalingrad. Due to the new M9130 variant's extreme versatility, it was perfect for the many different terrains found throughout Stalingrad. The Mosin Nagant worked well in both close and long range engagements, and in the end, this rifle was used to take out 50,000 Nazi soldiers. Number seven, the Mosin is the longest in use bolt action rifle in the world, with it still being used by military forces today. The Mosin has stood the test of time for over 120 years with over 20 countries still to this day using the Mosin Nagant in one form or another. Number eight, the Mosin Nagant has appeared in countless movies. However, the earliest of which was Defense of Sevastopol, which was released in 1911. Defense of Sevastopol is a historic war film depicting the siege of Sevastopol during the Crimean War. The Defense of Sevastopol was also the very first film produced in the Russian Empire. Number nine, the Mosin Nagant's influence was edged out reasonably quickly. By the time the newer modernized M9130 model was released nearly 30 years after the original Mosin Nagant, the only part remaining from Nagant 
was the magazine spring. And finally, number 10. Spare mows and parts weren't neglected and were often used to produce other weapons, such as the PPSH-41. Because of the long barrel of the Mosin, it can be cut in half to make two PPSH-41s. So there you go. There's 10 things you probably didn't know about the Mosin Agon. I'm sure there's some I didn't mention. Put in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe button. And thank you for watching this episode of History of Weapons.